hello. Welcome. Welcome this morning, and thank you for joining us for today's yoga session. Uh, today's session will be digestive flow. Uh, so basically a fart flow. So if you feel like you need to release any uh, to release any gases at any point in time, feel free to do so. Uh, this is a virtual yoga class, so we won't even know and we won't even smell. So it's perfect. <laughs> so feel free to use any props you have, pillows, blankets. Uh, if you want to feel if you want to feel comfortable uh, throughout this session, and you feel like you need any cushion, feel free to get free to bring that in today's session. Okay. Well, all that being said, let us find ourselves in a comfortable seat. <clears throat> and if you hear banging, yes, construction is still happening on the house. All right, we're gonna get started. Come into your comfortable seat, sitting nice and tall, spine reaching nice and long, crown of the head reaching nice and long. Being mindful of the breath. Feeling strong throughout the body. Relaxing the face. Relaxing the shoulders. Sitting in your peace. On your last exhale, we're gently going to drop the head to the right side, stretching the whole left side of the neck, engaging that stretch, using the breath as a guide. <clears throat> Cycle of breath, we're gently going to bring the head back to center and gently drop it to the left side, stretching the whole right side of the neck, On your last cycle of breath, we're gently going to bring the head back to center. And with control, we're gently going to tilt the head forward, bringing the chin towards the chest. Stretching the whole backs of your neck. And when you're ready, going towards the right or left side, you can start gently rolling your neck all the way around. Taking your time. You 
engaging in the muscles in your neck. Breathing through your stretch. And when you're ready, you can reverse your rotation, go in the other direction. Finishing up on your last rotation, bringing the head back to center. We're going to inhale, squeezing the shoulders up. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. One more time, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, releasing, rolling the shoulders back. Opening up the chest, opening up the throat. And we're just gonna reverse the rotation, so rolling the shoulders forward. And gently bringing the rotation to the stillness. We're just gonna inhale, rising up the arms. Exhale, crossing over, right over left, bending that left arm, dropping the right shoulder. Bring the right arm as close to you as possible. Breathing deep into that stretch. And on the last exhale, you can release, opening up the arms wide. We're going to cross over, left over right, bending that right arm, dropping that left shoulder. Engaging with that left shoulder, bringing the left arm as close to you as possible. Breathing through your stretch. And on your last exhale, you can release, open up the arms wide. We're going to bring the arms in front of us, reaching out long, and we're just going to rotate the wrist. And reverse that rotation, go in the other direction. And from here, we're going to flip the palms, fingers facing us, forearms facing out, and we're just going to pulsate the wrist into the floor or your mat. And to ease up on the tension in the forearm, feel free to add some heat. Find some heat to the forearm, left forearm, right forearm.
And we're going to flip the palms, back of the palm, flip, eh, facing into the floor <clears throat> or your mat. And to pulse the wrist here, we're just going to create a fist to pulse the wrist. And you can gently release your wrist from the floor. We're just gonna give a little shake to the wrist. Or if you want, you can bring the hands together and you can rotate them like so. And you can release. And at this time, we're gonna go into a child's pose. So you can get prop our pose that you have. Make yourself really comfortable. Put some pillows under your, your hips. Get some cushion for the forehead to rest the head on. So Coming onto all fours, we're gonna bring the big toes to touch. We're gonna to widen our stance with our knees, pushing the hips down and back, stretching the arms out nice and long. We're gonna lower ourselves down into child's pose. And holding this child's pose here, we're just going to shift both hands over to the right side, stretching the whole left side body. And when you're ready, crawl the hands over to the left side, stretching the whole right side body. you're ready, crawl the hands back down, back down to center, 
one more search here. slowly going to make our way into tabletop so you can still keep the pillows and your blankets so coming on to all fours feeling strong here feeling stacked shoulders on top of ankles excuse me Shoulders on top of wrist, hips on top of ankles. Sorry, hips above the knees, excuse me. <clears throat> We're gonna inhale, rise up the right arm towards the sky. Exhaling, diving down under the left arm, dropping that right shoulder, keeping the hips where they are. mindful of the breath here. Move deeper into your stretch. And on your last exhale, we're going to rise up back into tabletop. And we're going to do the same on the left side. We're going to rise up the left arm up towards the sky. And we're going to dive down under the right arm, keeping the hips where they are, dropping the left shoulder into the floor. Breathe in through your stretch here. And on your last exhale, we'll slowly make our way back into tabletop. Now from here, we're going to keep the hips where they are, and we're just going to lower down onto the forearms. Keeping the hips up high in the sky, we're going to try to lower our chest as low to the ground as possible. Now if you have you know, pillows, props, you can bring that for more cushion.
Ah. And on your last exhale, we're going to slowly rise back up with the tabletop. So you can remove that extra cushion in front of you. So coming to tabletop, we're going to go into some cat cows. So inhaling, tucking in the hips, pushing the belly button towards the ground, lifting the chin slightly, engaging with the lower back. We're going to exhale, pushing through the upper back, pushing into the floor. Feel free to do a couple cat cows on your own. Inhaling, engaging with the lower back, lifting the head up slightly. Exhaling, pushing through the back. And finishing up, excuse me, and finishing up on your last cat or cow. We're gonna bring the spine back to neutral. And when we keep the left knee where it's at, we're gonna extend the right long, tucking the back toes. We're just gonna pulse and engaging with the back half. Exhale, we're going to bring that right leg back to meet the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to extend the left leg long, keeping the right where it's at. And we're going to do the same on the left side, engaging with the back leg, tucking the back toes, pulsating the right ankle. <clears throat> From here, we're going to keep the left leg where it's at. We're going to bring the le right leg to meet the left. Going into your plank, you can come in for a modification. You can drop the knees slightly into the floor. Or you can come down to the forearms. If that feels good for you. We're feeling strong here in your plank, engaging with the core. Feeling strong here. And with control, slowly lowering all the way to the ground or your mat. From here, we're going to go post both the arms into the floor. We're going to lay the right ear onto the mat, go posting that left arm. Excuse me, sorry. We're going to pillar this left arm, keeping that right arm go posted. Rising up the left leg, we're going to push it over into our right back space for a twist. Breathing deep into your twist. 
with every inhale, we go deeper into our stretch. And coming out of your last cycle of breath, we're going to bring this left leg back to meet the right. We're going to go post that left arm once more. And switching sides, we're going to lay the left ear on the floor. We're going to pillar this right arm, keeping that left arm goal posted. Rise up the right leg. We're going to place it over into our left back space for a twist. And come on your last exhale. We're gonna bring your right leg back to meet the left. And we're just gonna rest here for a moment. <sighs> Feeling the difference in both arms. When you're ready, we're going to tuck the palms slightly under our shoulders. We're going to have the elbows facing back, slightly lifting the chin, rising up the chest, coming into Cobra, engaging with the lower back. With control, slowly lowering all the way back down. Again, lifting up, leading with the head, followed by the chest, coming into Cobra. Releasing, using the control to come back into the floor. <sighs> We're just going to adjust the hands slightly. We're going to push both hands out towards the sides, still next to the shoulders, tucking the back toes, pushing out to the floor, rising up into your plank. And with control, slowly lowering down into the floor. For Chaturanga, rising up for Up Dog or Cobra. Relaxing the shoulders, engaging with the lower back. We're going to tuck the back toes, rising the knees up, pushing the hips up and back. For our first downward facing dog. Feel free to bend your knees, pedal your feet. Make any modification that feels good to you. <sighs> With control, we're going to walk the hands all the way to the feet for a forward fold. Hanging heavy here. 
And feel free to give yourself a slight micro bend inside the knees. Look at it. Inhale, straighten both the knees, coming into flat back. Exhale for forward fold. Huh. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Huh. Inhale, flat back once more. Exhale, forward fold. Bending knees, placing the belly on top of the thighs. And slowly with control, fingers facing towards the floor, which slowly going to rise up all the way to standing. And when we reach up here, we're just going to put our arms out by our side, palms open, chest open, throat open. Feeling grounded here. Feeling strong. We're going to inhale, rising the arms up into the air for extended mountain pose. Exhaling, releasing the arms by our side. Inhaling, rising the arms up. Exhaling, hinging at the hips. We're going to swan dive down all the way to a forward fold. <clears throat> Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, pushing on the shins. Exhale, forward fold, bending the knees. <sighs> Placing the belly on top of the thighs. We're going to place the hands to the floor. Walking the hands up into your plank. Feeling strong here. With control, we're slowly going to lower down into the floor. Chaturanga rising up into up dog or cobra. <sighs> Tucking the back toes, rising the knees up, pushing the hips up and back for another downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna rise up the right leg. And we're gonna bring our right knee towards our chest, floating up in the air. And we're gonna plant the foot between the palms. You can lower down that left knee. If you have a cushion or a pillow to support that left knee, you can put that there now. <clears throat> Feeling stacked, right, right knee stacked above the right ankle, back leg reaching nice and long. Feeling strong here in the flow lunge. <clears throat> Rising up, plant, planting both the hands <clears throat> on top of the right thigh. And we're just going to slightly lean into the right thigh just a little bit, engaging with the right thigh and the left thigh, opening up the chest, opening up the throat. <sighs> Breathing through your stretch. And 
when you're ready, we're going to release the left palm, framing that right foot. We're going to rise up the right arm, up into the air. And releasing that right arm, framing that right foot. We're going to rise up the left knee off the floor. We're going to rotate that back ankle down into the floor. Still feeling stacked here. Right knee on top of the right ankle, left leg reaching back nice and long. We're going to bicycle the arms open up into warrior two. Feeling stacked. Right knee on top of the right ankle, left leg nice and long. Feeling strong here. Both arms out by our sides. We're going to flip the front palm, reaching forward, up and back. Stretching the whole right side body. And with control, we're going to rotate the excuse me, right arm onto the right thigh, stretching the whole left side body. And on your last exhale, you can release, frame that right foot once more, coming down into a little lunge. We're going to take that right foot and we're going to bring it back to make the left. Coming down into your plank. Excuse me. With control, slowly lowering down all the way to the ground for Chaturanga. Coming into up dog or cobra. <sighs> Tucking the back toes, we're going to rise up the hips once more. We're down the facing dog. Walking out the feet, engaging with the back calves, bending the knees. From here, we're going to rise up the left leg, and we're going to float the knee above the chest, planting the left foot between both of the palms. You can release that right knee into the floor or your mat, and if you have some cushion or support for that knee, you can do so at this time. <clears throat> Feeling stacked in this low lunge here. Left ankle is stacked with the left knee. Back leg reaching nice and long. We're gonna stack both of the hands, excuse me, on top of the left thigh. Feeling strong here. Opening up the chest, opening up the throat. For this high lunge here. Engaging with both of the thighs. And releasing that right palm into the floor, framing that left foot. We're going to rise up the left arm, throw a twist on the other side. When you're ready, you can release that left palm, framing that left foot, excuse me, left foot. We're going to rise that right knee off the floor, rotating that back ankle down into the floor. Filling stacks. We're going to bicycle the arms over to the warrior two. So we're just making sure we're stacked before we take off. Back leg reaching nice and long, front leg stacks. Arms reaching nice and long. We're going to flip the front palm, reach forward, up and back. Stretching the whole left side body. And with control, we're going to swap, rotating the left arm to the left knee, 
stretching my whole right side body. the last exhale, we're going to frame this left foot coming down into the low lunge once more. We're going to bring that left leg back to the right, and we're going to split control lower the knees down to the floor. And you can get your pillows and cushions once more. We're going to go right to the child's pose. So if you feel comfortable, you do. <clears throat> also, another thing, and anything that you do or that I do, and it feels like it's not a part of your practice, feel free to go into the child pose or any other pose you feel is necessary for your body. Ready, lead me to a seated position. You can still use the cushions as support if you would like. <clears throat> Come into a seated position. We're going to tuck the left leg and we're going to extend the right long. Sitting up nice and tall, the spine neutral, crown of the head is nice and long. We're going to crawl both palms down the right leg, wrapping the shin over the foot. And hinging at the hips, using the breath as a guide to lower the chest closer and closer towards your leg. And when you reach your peak, just go through your round and spine anytime you'd like. Last exhale, you can release, bringing the spine back to neutral. With the 
the right palm, we're going to reach over, grab the left knee, rising up the left arm, up and over, position the whole left side body. Let's in that right foot. And your last exhale, you can release, bring the spine back to the neutral. We're going to release the left leg. And we're going to tuck in, excuse me, tuck in the right. <clears throat> spine, sitting up nice and tall, crown of the head reaching nice and long. Crawl on the hands down the right, excuse me, <laughs> left leg. Grabbing the shin of the foot. And hinging at the hips, using the breath as a guide to lower down the chest, closer and closer towards the leg. And when you reach as far as you can go, you can round your spine. Last exhale, you can release, bringing the spine back to neutral. With the left palm, we're going to reach over, grab the right knee, rising up the right arm up and over, stretching the whole right side body. Flexing that left foot. Excuse me. Spine back to neutral. We're going to release the right leg long. We're just going to pat our both legs up to the floor. And bringing the feet to prayer pose, we're going to come into butterfly. Engaging. Sitting up nice and long. Spine reaching nice and long. Engaging buttocks and the leg sockets. Engaging with the sacrum in the lower back. Exhale, we're going to release both legs, planting the feet to the floor, knees facing towards the sky. We're going to rise up both arms, reaching long, using our core. With control, we're slowly going to lower down our upper half towards the floor. So strong. 
Uh, once you make it to the floor, still keeping both knees bent, we're just going to bring both feet together for a prayer pose, opening up the knees wide for a refined butterfly. Exhale. So we're going to pick the knees back up, planting the feet into the floor. And just going to windshield wipe the knees from side to side. Control, bringing the knees towards your chest, curling up the top of the ball. down, that's fine as well. But we're just going to lay here. We are now in excuse me, it's a while so now. Before the boat. everything into the floor, going back to where you belong, into the earth.
wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toe, bringing feeling back to the body. Rolling to the left, the right side. Rising up into that seated position. way to <clears throat> after you found your way to a comfortable seated position you can rest your palms on the tops of your knees the heart center on top of the heart or resting your palm inside of the other and stressing your palm inside of the body we're going to end today's session with four breaths. A breath for the ancestors and indigenous people who were saved for colonization. Breathing in. A breath to thank yourself for your practice today. Breathing in. Thank others for their support. Breathing in. And a breath for our yoga community virtually. Breathing in. Stay. Thank you for joining us today. And again, we do apologize for the noise, but there was a moment of time where there was peace and quiet. So just remember that every time we do yoga. Again, thank you for joining us today. I'm Trent. That's Anne. You already know. <laughs>